Okay, so... I tried looking around this room and trying stuff outside of my recording sessions to try and figure out how to get this guy's keys. And unless I'm mistaken, I think the solution is something really simple that I overlooked. Apparently, all we have to do is shoot this bell over here. And as you can see, he then moves to check out the noise. We can head down here. Pick up the keys. And that's it. Because he's going to check out the noise with the door opened. And we'll just close this door by- No, no, don't close me on this side of the door. So, the reason I didn't think that would work is because I kept hitting the bell on this side and he just ignored it. And that's because he was already on that side. But if you shoot it on the other side, which I also thought I did that too, but apparently not. Anyways. A simple solution to the problem. Hey lady, how's it going? Oh my, just look at you. A new Lily Grove Scout. I always knew you had it in you, Master Rivermouse. The seventh son of a seventh son and all. Your stars are well placed, my dear boy. You have my complete trust. That said, now that you're here, perhaps you know of some place just a tad safer than here. Oh, Miss Ivy Wayne, I had no idea you'd even recognize me by now. It's been a long time since we studied fiddle. I'm flattered. I'll look for a way to higher ground and let you know what I find. In the meantime, I suggest you stay hidden. All right, rescue Belladora. Well, it looks like we're just doing the uh, same thing here. here. Belladora. Hop in, and I'll hoist you up to the shop cellar. Dumb waiter going up. Redwall Ranger, rescue all the refugees in the catacombs. Yay, we did it! And we get the jam! My favorite! For jam. How delightful. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Oh. That guy looks fancy. Also, can we go and take a look at some more of these, uh. Eh, 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 eh. Oi. No, no, let me see the letters. Okay. Um. Boop, 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 boop. Tavern inventory? You need honey mead, pipe weed, autumn ale, spiced ale, and replacement tankards. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be good. Foxglove's Diary. Dear Diary, I am forever to be misunderstood and unrecognized in my village, even in my own home. Father once again dismissed my poetry with no more than a quick glance and a pointed sniff, as if my efforts were so much waddle and daub. Dear Diary, I'm quite pleased to report that all the eyelash batting and coyish glances have finally caught the eye of Bronk the Wheelwright. He's ever so handsome and strong, though perhaps less sophisticated than I was hoping for. Regardless, there's only one more attractive bachelor in Lily Grove, and I dare say he's been captured by another. Dear Diary, I'm overjoyed to find that Bronk also longs to be free from this rustic old town. He confided in me that he once considered being a scout. Can you imagine that strength and charm wasted on a wily bit of scout training? I perish the thought. He is well suited to a knight's chivalry, I'm sure. At least once I managed to teach him some proper table manners. Dear Diary, once again, my advances have been met with shrugs and growls. The boy simply won't be let near him. Why, just this afternoon, I threw my scarf over our snow mouse, expecting he'd, he'd keep me warm. And he pushed me away. Me! I smell just fine. Even Laban confirmed that much. I checked to see if my fur was matted or if I had some cheese caught in my teeth. Not that either, so what have I to improve? I don't know, Foxglove. Intel from Sparrowblade. Article of Surrender. These are the Articles of Surrender to be obeyed by all who will come under the claw of Clooney the Scourge, or any of his commanders. 1. Surrender will be total and unconditional. 2. Clooney will execute the leaders of all who oppose him. 3. All property conquered will be belong solely to Clooney the Scourge. This includes homes, food, crops, land, and additionally all creatures dwelling on said property. They shall be owned by Clooney the Scourge. Wow, that's the exact same articles he gave Redwall. <laughs> Interesting. I like the callbacks to the book series. That's really cool. Away on business. Oh, wait, no, we read that one already. From Shrubby. 
Or should that read Brother Larkspur? How is life at the Abbey? I couldn't help but chuckle when Brindleweed told me you started the laundry shift. Do forgive me because I still remember you as an energetic dibbon who hated chores. But it sounds like you're adjusting quite well. Moving on to the kitchen soon, if I understand right. Did you ever get in touch with the gentle mouse there who can speak their language? You used to be so interested in the insects around here. I remember when you brought home that giant snail one winter because you didn't want it to freeze. You may have hated chores, but I'll be painted purple if you weren't a sweetheart. Oh, look now, I've gone and made myself cry. Tears smudge in the letter and I don't even have the paper around to write a second one. Well, take care of yourself. Come spring, it is likely I'll be rolling on by. Sure would like to see you again. Shrubby Buckwheat. Um... <laughs> Liam, did you have to steal everybody's personal mail? No, but I chose to anyway. Yeah. Will the chief hoist next? Sergeant Scum Snouts, the stronger one, for sure. But that cheese thief is the clever one. No, he's not. He's an idiot. That's one of the like reoccurring themes of the book uh, of Red Wall, where Red Tooth was like the only competent enough rat to be Clooney's number two. So when Red Tooth passed, he couldn't really find a suitable replacement. Yeah, let's light the lanterns. That won't attract attention. <gasps> Jam! Yes! Ah, yes! Collected full jam. Yummy, yummy, yummy. What kind of jam was that? Cucumber jam? Oh no, the cucumber smell's coming from over here. Well, there's a cave in here. I hope nobody died. It's gonna be hard to dig them out of this one. <clears throat> How about letting me through? Nope. Apparently not. Bloodworth is down here, ain't he? Always peeking and poking and trying to get my eyes. Mayhaps I'll get his eye on the end of my dagger. I need a plan, I do. The sergeant will make a move for second mate tonight, I'm sure. And then he'll be needing... I have to be sure I'm first in line for the job. Sparrow Blado's reach will need to be sure. But he's weak on his port side. Hmm, draw the backhand swing, I will. Yeah, then he'll starboard to get a knife to his liver. Man, there's a lot of talk of mutiny here. Or at least of subterfuge. Of trying to take over for Clooney's number two. Hmm. I'm not sure what the point of lighting these lanterns is, but I'm going to keep doing it, because it gives me the option. Okay, there's a rat over there, but we won't immediately be in his line of sight. Ooh, new recipe, two ways to cheese. Alright, let's just uh, get rid of our scent. Two ways to cheese. We got nuts, unroasted, blanched almonds, soaked for uh, six hours or more. Two and a half tablespoons of lemon juice. Three tablespoons of olive oil. A half a clove of garlic. Uh, you need more than that. One and a half teaspoons of sea salt and two thirds of a cup of water. And for taters, one cup of water, one cup of oats, one cup of steamed sweet potato, one whole roasted red pepper marinated in vinegar, half a cup of yeast, one tablespoon of paprika, uh, two and a half teaspoons of sea salt, half a teaspoon of peppercorns, one teaspoon of onion, one teaspoon of garlic, two tablespoons of lemon juice, one cup of water, extra for over the top of mixture and blend. That makes cheese? There's no dairy in that. I know the Redwallers are a vegetarian, or pescatarian. 
still seems a little weird. All right. Yes. More jam. Wow. The, the jam in this these rooms are literally just lying like out. There's a little something extra in here. Oh, a silver scout's jacket. That rat 100% should have heard you there. Oi, who just said that? <laughs> it was probably just me imagination. Smoke screen. Okay, so we found a scout jacket, eh? But that's not under here. Okay. What can we shoot with our saline shot? Aha! A bell over there! He's like, I was looking right over there. I know there's nothing suspicious. All right, then, fine. Okay, yeah, so he has his pair of keys over there. Well, there's another way to enter this room, so I guess we'll enter it from the other door. Oh, there's a bell over there. I wonder if I ring that bell, will he come out to uh, visit? That's a possibility. Okay. Okay. No. All right, so he's looking right through there, so we can't go through that way yet. All right, that's fine. Then I have a plan. Okay, here's my plan. So we go over here. We go in the flower so he won't be able to smell us. Because I don't want him to be like, oh, I smell a mouse and he went this way. So if we shoot this, will that summon him to go and check out the noise? Yes, indeed. Okay. Anything else in the room we can grab? Where is that cucumber smell coming from? Alright, it didn't look like there was anything else, so we'll just get out of here quickly. Oh, but now he's still- okay, so he's still over there now. So we, it looks like we got free reign to explore this room a bit more, and then we can ring the bell in here to make him come back. Wonder what ratty be cooking, eh? Oh ho! Yep, there's something sparkly up there. That means we can pick it up! Okay, but how do we get all the way up on that shelf? Thank goodness he can't hear- Oh-ho! There we go. Oh, we found a new riddle. Let's read it right now. We have mysterious riddle number one. Where's the other riddle? Oh, it's not actually a riddle. A riddle. I oft reside in nature's cradle, a silent tomb for living sable, a cloven crack adorned unseen, just behind the withered green. Hear the words that ever flow, from ancient one in time of snow. Seek the truth below the tide, find the wisdom sages hide. Present a feast to seat their hunger, a path reside in speechless wonder. Pickerel. If it weren't a let's play, I might be looking to try and solve that riddle. But I'll leave that up to the viewers. Oh wait, before we go...
We found the letter to Glimer. And that guy almost smelled me. Whoopsie daisy. New mail, red wall trade order. Oh. And a letter to me. Wow, that was a lot of letters. That was a lot of letters. Did we read the beauty tips? Yes, we did. Tavern inventory. No, we already got that. Soft sword shrimp stew. Two gills of butter. Six cloves of minced garlic. Uh, two score peeled shrimp. Two teaspoons smoked paprika. One pawful of salt. Two drams of ground peppercorn. Two drams of saffron. One pot of spring water. Melt butter in the bottom of a sturdy pot. Saute garlic until aromatic and add shrimp all at one time. Stirring constantly until pink and translucent. Add water and flavor. Uh, stirring slowly and bring to a slow simmer. Serve warm with ginger beer or ginger buns. Hmm. Interesting. Redwall trade order. I would like to place an order for more of Redwall's famous cordial. We could probably do some more honey as well, to be quite honest. It was a slow production this fall, what with the early chill. Lost a hefty bean crop I did. Do hope Redwall wasn't affected by the frost. I know how finicky those old stocks can be. Still, I have the usual load of wheat flour and beet sugar to offer in return. The beets were extra sweet this year and made a fine haul. Would be perfect for the next delectable batch of sweet mead or cordial. Beet cordial? Ugh. Sounds not good. We're smelling footprints that way. It's probably the way we're supposed to go, but there's Raddy over here. Maybe we shouldn't have done that. He's on high alert. But we got jam. That guy's just like, oh, I saw a mouse, I did, but I'm not going to actually walk over to him. Oh, nice otter statue. That's pretty cool. Anything beyond this door? Hey, I think we got to the Despite end. Despite the urgency of the situation on the surface, Liam found himself compelled to lend aid to those frightened and desperate beasts. And as the last one descended to safety, he found his own animals surprisingly calm. His anxiety for Sophia greatly diminished, and in his place, a determination and resolve that he'd never felt before. Okay, we didn't Even really waste that much time saving the values people. Of Red Wall before ever hearing its charter or passing its gates. We literally spent like an extra five seconds helping each person because it was just like, put them in the dumbwaiter, crank them up. It was really easy. All right, tell me about yourself, Belladora. I'm so happy to see you healthy and all again, Miss Ivy Wayne. I believe you'll be safe here. Oh, don't be so coy. Betwixt you and that amazing Sophia, Dorabella and I are alive and in your debt. I'm thinking of making a statue in your honor. I believe I'll call it the Stats. So there's Belladora and Dorabella. Really? That's not wow. necessary. But you mentioned Sophia. Have you seen her? Oh, I've more than seen her. I was positively rescued by her. Wielding that sword like an angry wasp. Why can't I have a sword? Gaggle of those ruthless pirates. Protecting me before charging off toward the center of town. I would prefer if this game was not a rogue game, but was rather a action-adventure game like Zelda. But beggars can't be choosers. Oh, I We're sisters. You didn't know that. Twins, in fact. And she's the eldest by the narrowest margin, as I emerged clutching a reel. Just like Jacob. No, I didn't know that. Begging your pardon, ma'am, but the two of you seem nothing alike. Oh, no offense taken, my dear. That's the way it is with twins from time to time. I've always been the quiet, creative one. A flibberty gibbet, she says. And she's always been the smart and productive one. Yes. I might say you were the kind one, but perhaps <laughs> you have a better way to put it. Well, she was a tsundere, so... Oh, my, I should have thought of that. Oh, you must be so worried with your farm out on the outskirts. Well, rest at ease, dear one. They're quite safe. We were all preparing a surprise party for you. Um, surprise. <laughs> I do not believe they came down into the catacombs, but 
rather escaped the initial attack by fleeing north toward Old Moss Creek. Oh, Liam, you must be ever so proud of your precious gal. She was ever so brave and... Uh, what's the word? Indomitable. Ah. Uh, ooh, the cellar. This place. This is the dry cellar of Ivy Wayne Merchant, Dorabella's shop. I expect the shop itself is quite crawling with vermin, but the passageway yonder should lead you toward the town square. Oh, please be careful, dear. And make sure your valley and Sophia isn't out there alone. Okay, will do. Can you give me some music lessons? Oh, you remember? And at a time like this, you flatter me. Do you still play? I remember you having some real talent, but being somewhat absent-minded. No different than Annie Dippin, of course. Ah, uh, thanks. I should tell you, now that you're grown, that I never charged your family, nor told Dorabella about the charity. Perhaps it's best if we keep it our little secret. I like this lady. She's nice. Oh, more! Oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Excuse me, I see something glowing. Oh, we got a recipe for butter. What? Wait, can I? I, I gotta see this. Is this an actual butter recipe? If so, I'm making it in real life. Butter ingredients. A half a jill of almond meal. A half a jill and a splash more of meadow cream. Two teaspoons of yeast. A large pinch of salt. A dash of apple cider vinegar. Uh, one and a half jills of oil. Blend the meal, cream, salt, and yeast, and whip whisk till smooth. Start to whip in the oil until airy and light. Store it in a dark, cool place. Whisk in honey for a delightful accompaniment for scones. Whisk in spices to add a flair to toast. That is not butter! That's the, that's the dumb vegan butter. That they're like, oh, it's just as good. You won't taste the difference. And then you 100% do. Oh, a violin! I found my old violin. Dane, she gave us a violin for free? I don't know about in the, the world of Redwall and Mossflower, but, like, um, violins, they're pricey. <laughs> they're not the cheapest instrument out there. Actually, musical instruments in general are pretty expensive. But, hey, you get what you pay for. Uh, I, You know, if this is a cellar, I could have sworn there would be some uh, jam around. Oh, I don't know about jam. No, I want the jam! Give me the jam! <laughs> I did not realize that that was a uh, keg of flour. I thought there was jam inside. Oh, there's a second floor. Of course there is. Surely there's uh, some jars of jam up here. There are too many smells going around for there to not be jam. Okay, cucumber jam, probably not. Oh, I, I smell peaches! That's because there are peaches right here. Idiot. No. No. Look at that. I bet you there's a way to fall down here and there's a faint of jam. Aha! A dumb oh, wait, no, that's the dumb waiter that we rescued her through. Oh, come on! Is there really no jam in this room? Wasted opportunity. Oh, uh, excuse me. I'd very much like to go in here. Liam, don't break the pots. That's all we got. <laughs> excuse me, sir. May I please leave? I've been trapped in here. I guess we'll go for the sewer then. Oh, some shortcut. We finished the catacombs. As Liam ascended from the ancient catacombs, he emerged at the feet of an enormous creature. A beast of kind he'd never seen before, with a fat, stubby tail, no ears to be seen, and a vile stink. Is this the we're at? Dripping from his diseased jowls. 
Several rats circled about him, throwing down their collected loot at his feet, like sacrifice to some heathen shrine. Is this a weird rat? All the while simpering and fawning for his approval, and being beat as often as they were confronted. At each interaction, they'd speak his name like a curse. Scum snout. Never mind. So this was the leader of the raiding party, and Liam could see why. He, he was bigger. Over his minions and wielded a gigantic mace as if it were a twig. A flick of his wrist, and any nearby rat would crumple or sail into the nearest wall. <laughs> he was a monster, if ever such a word applied, and he knew it full well. Bro, you just broke that raft's teeth. That's not very nice. Liam, my love, is that you I sent? I could barely see you. So is that Liam, blood? What happened? Oh, are you hurt? Oh, by Satan's whiskers, I'll skewer any rat who so much as sniffed at you. Oh, no, she's definitely bleeding. How bad is it, my love? Uh, not that you look any worse for the wear. That's my Liam. <coughs> Light-hearted and sweet, even in a sewer stain with blood. What? That. That thing. It was no rat, to be sure. I don't... I don't know what it is. It's towering. It's foul. It, it nearly took on my arm lest I whopped him in the jaws. Hear me now. You have to get away from here before he scents you. Sophia, my love, surely you know me better than that. Don't you remember the vows we wrote? Not mountain, nor sea, nor raging storm. I think I shall add, nor gruesome beast thing. Here we see the sun. <laughs> hey boy. Please be safe. Wow. <laughs> we got an achievement for that. Oh no, this is so sad now. If you haven't noticed, I'm an actual scout now. And that means I have responsibilities. Right now, that means getting to you. Man, his scared face is something. We gotta reach Sophia. Looks like that's gonna be our mission for next time then.